to the Volkswagen ID Buzz of the year 2025 intends to address a market that is virtually unexplored. This is because electric cars are getting more common every year, but there are few roomy electric vehicle alternatives for families. The Volkswagen Type 2 Microbus, sometimes known as the VW Bus for its abbreviated form, was the model that served as the basis for the ID Buzz's design, which features a throwback appearance. Welcome everyone! In today's video, we're going to look at 2025 Volkswagen ID Buzz, and your family need this. In this video, we will tell you all specification of this masterpiece, including power and performance, range, interior, and much more. But before we proceed, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Now get ready and make sure to stay tuned till the end as we dive right into the video. 2025 Volkswagen ID Buzz. Your family need this. In addition to its one-of-a-kind retro external look, the large cabin of this vehicle will have adjustable seats and three rows of seating. The all-electric engine of the ID Buzz will be available in rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive versions, and it will give a driving range that is anticipated to be in the neighborhood of 260 miles. Volkswagen claims that when the van is connected to a DC fast charger, it will only take 30 minutes for the battery to be charged from 10 to 80%. In the long run, the business also intends to launch its plug-in charge technology. This system would, in essence, do away with the requirement that users pay using a credit card or an app in order to open the charger. It has been a long time coming but the Volkswagen van will finally be available for purchase on American soil when the ID Buzz goes on sale in June 2024. Volkswagen has not yet provided information on the price of the ID Buzz or the several trim levels that will be available. The prices of electric vehicles on the market today, however, lead us to believe that their prices will begin at around $40,000. EV motor, power, and performance. The ID Buzz will be supported by Volkswagen's modular electric drive, MEB, platform, which is presently used as the foundation for other Volkswagen Group vehicles, including as the Audi Q4 e-tron crossover and the Volkswagen ID4 crossover. While Europe will get both a passenger and a commercial version of the ID Buzz, the sole passenger model that will be available in the United States will have a lengthy wheelbase. The standard model comes with a single electric motor that is situated in the back and is capable of producing 282 horsepower. A further option including two motors, all-wheel drive, and around 330 horsepower is also available. We had driven a European model of the passenger van, which, although having a shorter wheelbase and a smaller battery than the one we'll get in the United States, provided us a better notion of what to anticipate once we get our hands on the American model, range, charging, and battery life. The ID Buzz comes equipped with a battery pack that has a capacity of 86.0 kWh, although Volkswagen has not yet disclosed the vehicle's estimated range. We anticipate that each charge of the ID Buzz will provide a range of at least 260 km. Volkswagen asserts that customers who use a DC fast charger will be able to fully charge their vehicles from 10 to 80 percent in as little as 30 minutes fuel economy, and real-world MPG. Estimates of the ID's highway fuel efficiency, the results of the EPA's buzz study, have not yet been made public. When we next get an opportunity, we will take the ID from you, buzz on our highway fuel economy route at 75 miles per hour, and then update this post with the results of the tests. Interior, comfort, and cargo. The vastness and adaptability of the ID Buzz interior is one of the device's most distinguishing characteristics. The backrests of the front seats fold down to reveal tables that may be used by passengers in the back seat. The armrests of the front seats can also be adjusted. In addition to it, there is a central console that can be removed from between the front seats. The version sold in the United States has three rows of seats, each of which may accommodate one person. However, the addition of the optional captain's chairs in the middle row reduces the total number of seats available to only six. The ID Buzz is equipped with a series of notable standard features such as a digital gauge cluster measuring 10.0 inches, ambient lighting that can be personalized, 
and front seats that massage the driver and front passenger, infotainment, and connectivity. A touchscreen measuring 12.9 inches that protrudes from the center of the dashboard serves as the primary input device for the infotainment system in the Volkswagen van. A digital gauge display that is 10 inches in size is also included as standard. Additionally, we anticipate that the ID Buzz will come standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as maybe some form of entertainment system for the rear seats. A wireless device charging station and a Wi-Fi hotspot that requires a subscription should also be on the list of amenities. How's the ID Buzz's storage? One of the most important reasons to consider purchasing an ID is for the storage it provides. Large pockets and rubberized trays are located in the front of the vehicle to keep small goods. There is also a deep well located next to the steering wheel where you can place your smartphone in a vertical position. In addition, there is an abundance of USB charging connections with four ports located up front and one port located behind each sliding door in the back. In addition, there is a storage bin located in the center of the vehicle, which has openings that fold down at both the front and the back, as well as cup holders that can be arranged in a variety of ways. This bin can also be very easily removed in its entirety to make room for access to the second row. We will definitely be keeping a close eye on the aftermarket to see what kinds of extras or attachments they come up with for that location. Despite the fact that we do not yet have official specs, the space for cargo located behind the second row of seats is unquestionably considerable. The upright design of the van results in a low load floor and a high ceiling in the inside. In addition, there is a large aperture and a substantial volume as one move from the hatch to the back seats. Although the addition of a third row of seats will undoubtedly have some impact on the amount of space available for goods, we are certain that there will still be a sufficient amount of room. A level load area may be created above the seat backs by separating the second row into two sections and folding down the third row in the same manner. Ideal for something like a compact van-sized mattress to provide an example. How economical is the ID Buzz? When it comes to electric cars, range is the figure that people focus on more than efficiency. This is mostly due to the fact that the cost of energy is still just a fraction of what we spend to fill up a petrol tank. We conducted some quick math on the European WLTP statistics for the European model that Volkswagen gave, taking into consideration what we've observed in the VW ID4 cars that we've tested. However, we are still a long way from getting any relevant range and efficiency data for the US market versions. According to our calculations, the EPA estimated range of the European single motor rear wheel drive ID Buzz would be around 200 miles and its efficiency would be approximately 39 kilowatt hour per 100 miles. Using the same line of reasoning, we have determined that the vehicle design for the North American market has a range of 240 to 250 miles. In the real-world EV range testing that Edmunds has conducted, we have found that the ID4 has, on average, 13% more range than its EPA estimate. Therefore, it's very feasible that the ID Buzz will provide us with the same performance results. In terms of charging, the ID Buzz will be able to support up to 11 kilowatts of level 2 AC charging and 170 kilowatts when connected to a DC fast charger. In addition, the ID Buzz will be able to support up to 11 kilowatts of level 1 AC charging. In terms of the amount of time required, a full charge may be achieved at home in as little as 7.5 hours, while a charge from 5% to 80% capacity can be accomplished at a DC fast charger in as little as 30 minutes, provided that the circumstances are optimal. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching till the end. Comment below with your answer and let us know, would you buy Volkswagen ID Buzz? Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.